Hello, my Olivia Ray angels. Come and join me on the mat on hands and knees for some cat and cow stretches. Rounding your back, looking into your belly, and then arching your back. Make it feel really good. Take any wiggles that you need. And then meet me in a neutral spine. So spine is long. Reach the right arm and the left leg out long. Bring them back down where you came, they came from and then reach the opposite arm and leg out and bring it back in. So right arm, left leg reaches. Gently bring it back down, then left arm and right leg reach. Slowly bring it back to the mat each time and feel that your core is stable. So it's not really about getting the leg and arm up crazy high. It's about waking up through your core to stabilize through your spine. Now let's reach our right arm and left leg and hold them up. Then tap the fingertips and toes back down and left them right back and up. Lower and lift. Keep the arm and the leg really nice and long. That's it. And if it's feeling too wobbly, you can always leave your hand down if you please. Great, keep going. And then we're gonna head into some little pulses up and up of the arm and leg. Check you haven't arched your back so you feel your abdominals lifting up to the sky. Beautiful. Place the right hand down, cross the back leg over, lift it up and then open it wide as you lift it back up. So we tap the toe down and across, lift it up, then tap it wide and across and lift it up. Good. You're drawing a rainbow with your back leg pretty much. Keep that core strong, don't let the hips shift. Then we're gonna hold the back leg back and up and pulse it up again. Up and up and up. I'm gonna keep reminding you, core strong. Squeezing your left glute to lift and lift. So good, guys. Then let's come down onto our elbows, flex the back foot and bend the back leg. Lower your knee down almost to the mat, then drive it right back and up. So you're just lowering and lifting your leg, keeping the leg bent the whole time. So rather than the leg or the heel reaching out as you come up, you want to think of the heel going up as high as you can into the sky. Squeezing that left glute, trying to build a little bit more heat and engagement through your left butt cheek. Squeezing the glute and then let's hold it up and pulse it up and up and up. Yes, heel going all the way up even higher into the sky. So good. Just a couple more pulses. Then we're going to start to cross the knee over as you lower it down, lift it up, then lower it down in center again, lift it up. We cross it over as you lift this time, lift, lower it down in center, lift it up, cross it over. Be mindful as you lower the knee down when you cross it over, not to twist the hips. So again, really thinking of the core keeping your hips stable, keeping your lower back supported. So good. We're going to start to pulse the leg up in just a moment. Here we go. We're going to pulse it up and up and up. Lead with your heel so that the glute fires. Use your right hand behind your lower back to check your hips are as square as you think they are. Then the elbow comes back down. Can you pulse up even higher? Yes, guys. So good. Squeeze that left glute. Amazing. All right. Are you ready? Keep going a little higher. We are going to hold that leg up and go for it. Keep it all the way up. Don't let it drop at all. Keep it up, keep it up, yes, and then bring it down. All right, left hand comes down onto your mat. So you're opening up to the left side with your shoulders. Unfold and karate kick that left leg all the way out to the side of your mat and bring the knee back down. Karate kick it out, unfold the leg and bend it as you bring it down. Open your shoulders and hips, bring them back and down. Open it all the way up, gently bring it down. Open it up. You might even feel your bottom right glute engaging here too. Hold it up, then tap the toe down, lift it up. So your toes shouldn't be tapping down on the mat. The leg stays long and it lowers to the side of your mat. Make sure you're looking at the foot rather than dropping the head. Lift it up, feeling the side of your glute really work. Like I said before, even that right glute firing too. That's it. Let's hold it up and pulse it up, up and up. You guys got this. We are almost done with this little glute round on your knee. Really building that heat, lifting the leg even higher. Hold it. Maybe a little higher. Maybe a little higher. So good. So good. 
even higher. Now let's pulse it up again. Up and up as high as you possibly can. Your leg gets a break in just a moment. Lift it, lift it. You can do it and bring it down. All right. Lie down on your right hand side, supporting your head with your hand. Leave the foot down on the ground where it was before. Turn the toe down. Now lift the heel up and tap the toe down. Lift the heel up, tap the toe down. Lift the heel up. So your leg is internally rotated and your foot is not on the mat. Once again, it's forward, slightly closer to your nose rather than underneath you. The side of your glute should be burning. Keep the leg up and pulse it up and up and up. Yes, you got this. Lift and lift. Let's check back in with your core. Make sure it's still strong and on. Your hips are stable. Try not to swing the hips. Good work. Let's turn the toe out now. Bring the heels together and then lower your knee down. It'll feel nice. And then lift just the knee up. So it's clamshells. Your heels stay touching. So make sure the heels are touching. Yeah. And then that top knee is lifting up and lowering down. Lifting up and lowering down. Yeah. Both legs are bent. Your top hand is on your top hip so that you can feel that your hip isn't rolling back. Lift your heel off your bottom heel now and then turn your toe and knee down and then lift them up. Turn them down and lift them up. So kind of similar to what you're doing with your heels touching, but now the leg is elevated, the heel is floating in space and you're really kind of turning it out then coming back to parallel. Really good. The side of that glute should be burning. Yeah, the top glute. If you're lucky, you might feel a bit of bottom glute too. Nothing wrong with that. Keep turning it out and out and out. Yes, we just keep on building that heat and that engagement through your glute from every angle. Keep the leg parallel now and start to pulse it up and up and up. Check in your hip isn't moving, that top hip. Don't let it roll anywhere. Don't let it move. That's it. That side glute should absolutely fire. Yeah, keep breathing. You can do it. Hold. Oh, I know, I know. You're so close, guys. Last little bit of work here for your glute. Pulse it up again, even higher this time. Higher and higher and higher and higher. Yes, that's it. Good work, guys. Bring it down. Give your butt a pat. Well done. Beautiful work. Oh, I know. All right, let's come all the way up. Back onto all fours, but we'll turn our head to the opposite end of your mat. This way, we're going to start to work the other glute. Yeah, reach your back leg out. Make sure it's your right leg and your left arm will be reaching out too. We're just lifting and lowering that left arm and right leg. Core really on still, so check we're not arching the back. So before we started with alternating sides, but here we just go straight into that second side, starting to build some heat through that right glute. So good, feel that you're lifting up with those abs. Then you can hold the leg all the way up and the arm all the way up if you'd like. And let's start to pulse it up. We pulse it up and up and up. If you're feeling too wobbly, remember you can always put that left arm down. If you're feeling your wrist, I want you to lift your chest up off the ground more. So there's less weight in your wrist and more work through your core. Keep squeezing that right glute. So good. So good. Well done. Lift, 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 lift. Left hand comes down, you cross the leg over, tap it down, lift it up, tap it wide, lift it up. So your toe is drawing your rainbow, you're trying to squeeze your right glute to lift that leg up and you're using your core to make sure that your hips aren't shifting from side to side. We're flowing straight from that first side into your second side, being smart with our time today, 20 minutes for that really great strong glute and core workout. So good guys. Hold the leg up and start to pulse that leg up again, squeezing the left glute. No distractions with the arm now. You're just really focusing in. Mind to body connection is strong. Focusing on that right glute and your core keeping you lifted. Come down onto your elbows once you're ready, keeping your leg up. Then bend your leg and flex your foot. We lower the leg down. We lift it straight back and up. Yeah, so good. So even though our focus really is on trying to build that heat through your right glute, we actually are really using our core, not doing lots of sit-ups, but the core is active to make sure that our lower back stays safe and we get core as well as glutes. Keep the leg up and start pulsing it up and up if you haven't already. That heel is going higher and higher into the sky if you can. Yeah, lift it all the way up, all the way up. Yes, 
squeezing that glute, even feeling a bit of your hamstring, so the back of the right leg as well, even higher, and then hold it up. Can you keep it there a little higher? And then cross it over, lift it up. Lower it down and center, lift it up. So we cross the knee across, lift it up. Lower it down and center, lift it up. Great. Even more work through our abs so that our hips don't start to kind of fall from side to side really feeling like it's your abs that really are in control. It's you in control rather than letting gravity be heavy on your back and start to let your back take over. Actively squeezing that right glute to get the leg as high as you can each time, even higher. And then we're going to hold that leg up and pulse it up. Yeah. Back into those pulses with the leg bent. So the heel isn't reaching long. It's going straight up. Your back knee is at a 90 degree angle. Make sure you're still reaching out through the crown of your head too. Don't let your head drop down. Think of great posture here. Great work. Lower the knee down. Prop yourself up on your right hand. You're going to open your shoulder and hips out to the side and karate kick that right leg long. Bring the knee back down to the mat. Karate kick it out. So it's kind of kicking out on this long diagonal. Yeah, the foot is above the front of the mat. So you're not kind of keeping the leg across the mat and reaching back. It's more so out to the side. You're looking out at that leg. You're opening your hips and shoulders up. Yeah, that's it. Open it all the way out and up. Great, guys. Can you reach even higher? Good. Then lower the toe down to the side of the mat. Lift it up. Lower the toe down. Lift it up. Great work. Lower and lift and lower and lift. You have totally got this. A little bit lower. Now all the way up. Yes, make sure that back doesn't arch to lift your leg up. Make the abs and the glutes do the work, not that back. Yes, feel the side and a little bit of the back of the glutes working. Feel even your left glute, the one you're kneeling on work, and then start to pulse that leg up and up and up. Your leg will want to drop now. Don't let it. Keep reaching the leg out longer and higher, longer and higher. Hold it up. Now, this is the new lowest point. You're going to pulse even higher than this for your last few. Are you ready? Up and up and up. Just a few more. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. You can do it. Hold it up there. Up, 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 up. And bring it all the way down. Toe stays in front of the mat. You bend your bottom leg and lay down on your left side, propping your head up. Turn your toe down, heel up. On that lifted leg, we lift it up. We tap the toe down. So the heel is going up to the sky. The toe stays pointing down to the ground. Make sure that you're not rounding your back here. Spine is long. So crown of the head is reaching. No poor posture. Chest is proud and open. Sit bones are wide. The heel goes high. It stays high and pulses up and up and up and up. Yes, guys. I know. I know it's such a long round for this one glute. Hold it up now. We are all most there. Don't let it drop. Pulse it all the way up again and up and up and up. So close to being done, guys. Just that little bit higher if you can. That's it. Almost there. We turn the leg out now. Bring the heels to touch. Press the knee open. Lower the knee down. Lift the knee up lower the knee down. So check in that your heels stay touching. Don't let your feet come apart yet. The hip, the top hip will want to roll back, but don't let it. That top hip, when it rolls back, it's going to kind of lose that efficiency of glute connection. And we want to work really smart here as well as hard. So we're getting the most out of every single rep that we put all that effort into. So keeping that hip still, lifting that leg up now so your foot is floating in space. I almost think of it like the heels on a coffee table. So as you lower your knee, you're lowering your knee only. Then you turn that knee out, but that heel stays pretty much in place. The side of your glute really working now, your glute med. When we we're on all fours before, we we're really working our glute max at the back of our glute and our hamstring too. So just hitting that glute and legs, back of the legs from all angles here. Cyclet should really be burning. We're on the home straight though. You guys are doing so good. Keep breathing and then let's keep the leg up and pulse it up. So the difference now as you're pulsing is that your knee isn't going 
down only by itself, but the whole leg now is coming down only a few centimeters and the whole leg going straight back and up. The shin is parallel with the ground and you should feel the side of the glute really working. Make sure that you're not rolling back with the hip at all. That's it, up and up. Good. Can you hold it up there? Maybe a little higher. You're on the home straight, guys. You're so, so close. Breathe. Are you ready? That's it. We're going to pulse it up and up. Final time. You're going to get even higher, even higher, as high as you can possibly go. So, so good. Last one. Bring it down. You made it. Yay. Let's head into some ab work, laying down on your back, gently bringing the legs up to tabletop once you're ready with hands by your side. And then we'll go into some toe taps. Just one or two with your head down. Make sure your toe's going away from your bum, not down towards your butt. Then let's start to bring the hands behind the head as you keep your toe taps going. Lifting the chest up on your next one as you tap the toe down. Lower the chest as the leg comes back to tabletop. Tap the toe down, lower the chest down. Yeah, so you tap as you lift your chest. Then the legs go to tabletop as you lower. So good. If you're feeling good, both toes tap down. You bring it back and down. Good. Don't let the lower back arch. If it does, go back to your single leg toe tap. You're almost there. Not long to go. Big deep exhale every time to lift your chest up. So good. We're going to lift just the chest up now and reach one leg long. Bring it back in. Reach the other leg long. Good. Check your chest is up as high as you can get it and keep it there. Yeah, reach the leg out as long as you can. And then we're slowly going to start to add a bit of twist. So we're going to start to rotate opposite shoulder towards your bent knee. Are you ready? Here we go. We are going to rotate. That's it. And bring it back to center. So legs come back to tabletop in between each time and your chest stays up. We rotate, bring it back through center. Rotate, bring it back through center. So good. Keep the chest all the way up. And then we're just going to go from one side straight to the other. Switch, switch, switch. Lift the chest higher. Get your opposite shoulder to try and touch that opposite knee. Twist, twist, twist. Lift the chest. Don't let it drop. So good. Almost there. That's it. So good. We're going to just hold it up and then gently bring the chest down. Reset. We lift the chest up. We lower the chest down. As you lift the chest, you reach one leg now, lower the chest, bring it in. Reach the other leg. If you're feeling good, we reach both legs as you lift your chest now. Only a few here if it's too much single leg, otherwise reach those legs. If you go lower, it's gonna be harder, but don't let that back arch off the mat. So, so good. Yes, lifting all the way up. Great work, place the hands by your hips, reach the legs to the sky, lift your bum up, slowly bring it down, bring the legs to tabletop, we reach that one leg and lift the chest. So we're just adding in that layer of extending the legs, lift the bum, slowly resist it down, legs tabletop, lift the ch chest, reach one leg, bring it in. Lift the legs up or lift the bum up, articulate down. If you can, reaching both legs long. So we're kind of adding the two exercises together. You've got your hips lifting and lowering slowly, legs back to tabletop. You lift the chest, reach one or both legs long. Make sure that here as you lower down, you're controlling. Lower back stays connected to the mat as you lift your chest and reach one or both legs. So, so good. Well done. Remember that when you reach your legs, if you want to make it higher with your legs, that'll be a little easier and supportive. Or if you want to reach it lower, it's going to be harder. But make sure you don't arch that back to do so. So good. When your legs go up to the sky, make sure they're not swinging behind the head. Keep them going straight up to the sky. Yeah, they can stay above your chest or above your head, but not swinging all the way back. Yeah, that control on the way down is really important. And just trying to keep your legs really kind of reaching up and then slowly bring it down. Go right back up again. So no more reaching out. We just stay with the hip lift and lower. Hip lift and slowly lower. Hip lift and slowly lower. Yeah, I know your shoulders might want to take over here, but really do your best you can to not let them overwork. Easier said than done, I know, but keep fighting for it. Don't let those legs start to swing now. Keep it right up. Control it down. Make sure you're taking big, deep breaths to support your core to work the best it can. The lowest abs trying to really do the work to control your hips down. So good. Lift and control it down. 
So, so good, guys. This is your last one. We rock up to see to keep your feet up. Find your balance. Reach your arms out. Good. If you can, your legs straighten. If you can, your arms lift. Maybe you still need to stay holding onto your legs. All right, let's bring it down. We're going to finish in a low plank. All right. I know you want to take your time getting here, but go straight into it. This is the last exercise. All you've got to do is hold it here. You might start to notice that after all of that ab work, your abs should be waking up so much more than when you usually do a low plank, right? I purposely put this low plank here to really make sure that we finish off your abs strong and that as we hold this plank, we really feel and appreciate all the work we've done on our abs. Feel the abdominals stay lifted. You've only got five seconds left. You can do it four. So good, guys. Three two so good bring it all the way down slowly roll it up send some gratitude to your body enjoy this great view we've got here and you're all done so good guys